One of the closest confidants to Israeli Prime Minister Netanyahu is visiting Washington today for talks on this ongoing war effort. Israeli Minister of Strategic Affairs Ron Dermer will meet with Secretary of State Antony Blinken and National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan to discuss the conflict. And it comes as tensions grow between the Biden administration and the Israeli government over the next phase of this war. Correspondent Joe Khalil is live for us in Washington with more on today's visit, Joe. Yeah, Nicole, it is really significant that Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu is dispatching one of his top allies to Washington today, as you mentioned, Ron Dermer, Israel's Minister of Strategic Affairs. Uh, so we've confirmed that he is going to be meeting with Secretary of State Antony Blinken, National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan, and some others. Now, the backdrop, Nicole, of this meeting is really important because it tells us a lot about the real reason for it. We know the Biden administration has publicly expressed a lot of concern about the level of civilian deaths in Gaza. Numbers, by the way, that continue to rise after multiple strikes even yesterday. And there have also been a lot of questions about what comes next for Gaza, whether uh, Israel, under pressure from the United States, is going to scale down on those major strikes, maybe move the war into a less intense phase. And also questions about what happens once the fighting eventually stops. Now, clearly, Netanyahu is trying harder this week to make his case to top American officials and to the American public directly for why the U.S. should continue to support Israel in its war in Gaza. So not only is he dispatched Dermer today, as we mentioned, but yesterday Netanyahu also published an op-ed in the Wall Street Journal talking to American readers directly, and he laid out his three requirements for ending the war. He says Hamas has to be destroyed, Gaza has to be demilitarized, and Palestinian society has to be de-radicalized. He also writes, in the meantime, Israel is going to continue to try to minimize civilian casualties by dropping leaflets, texting Palestinians to move out of harm's way if there's an attack coming. Now, clearly, that hasn't worked uh, so well as close to 20,000 Palestinians have already been killed over the last two months or so, according to the United Nations. So there's a lot here to talk about on the table today. We do expect to get some more clarity about these meetings once they finish later this afternoon. One National Security Council source tells us we will get that information later uh, this evening. We'll be watching to see if Secretary Blinken or National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan, Nicole, say anything, any public statements or anything like that. We'll be following that very closely yeah, uh, this afternoon. Certainly something to keep an eye on there. All right, Joe Khalil, live for us in Washington. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.